Breaking news from musical writers, I feel like you're holding on to something that's preventing you from taking off. <laughs> so let me tell you how I got there. Uh, it seems like you're doing pretty well on a lot of things. You have strength, the chariot, you're the driver of your own seat. The universe wants you to move on into a new journey, a new cycle, a new emotional journey. I feel like you're holding on to some things that are holding you back and you're scared to let them go because you're a little afraid about what's going to happen in your future if you decide to continue on writing this musical that you're trying to write. Um, the reason why I got this was you got the Five of Cups, which is also, which is about emotional, um, emotional conflict. We also have the Five of Wands, which is about conflict, about taking action. Maybe people would do, people, different opinions about how people would do different things and taking action that way. Um, you do have the High Priestess in reverse. We got blocked, delayed healing or internal energy there. So it just kind of makes me feel like your intuition is kind of blocked because of something that you need to release. Uh, we have the Page of Wands, our creative energy, our creative passions, and usually there are messages we are learning about our creative passages, um, creative passions and energies when we're on the page. We have the Nine of Wands. I do feel like you've been through hell and back, but um, you are still standing, which is good. I think that you are just got a little bit too much on your plate and you're holding on to too much because the next one is the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is there's a lot of stuff on your back. So I think that you're getting close to going onto a new cycle, but you need to release some of these wands. You need to release some of this responsibility off of yourself. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, the Queen of Swords is a very feminine card. She knows how to give bad news with a softer blow. With it being in reverse, I wrote down, I think you need to be a little bit more assertive, and I think that you need to um, be aware that you are gonna hurt some feelings with whatever you decide to do going forward. I don't think everyone's going to be um, pretty supportive. I don't wanna say supportive, that's the wrong, the wrong word to say. I don't think everyone's going to agree with you how you do things, but I need you to understand that you do things, I need you to understand why you do things. Does that make sense? Um, it just kind of feels like there are gonna be some hurt feelings, but you can't prevent that. You can't make everyone else happy around you while also trying to make yourself happy make yourself happy first and then just whoever is attracted to whatever you're writing whatever you're doing whatever music you're creating let that be let them come to you but if you're trying to make everyone happy your art is not going to reach its potential the card at the bottom of the deck we have this the ten of cups which is also in reverse the ten of cups is a, a completion card and when a completion card comes up to, in reverse for me, it makes me know that the Quirant is actually not accepting an ending. So because we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse, because we've got two fives and conflict there, because we've got the High Priestess in reverse, it just makes me feel like there is an ending that has come, an emotional ending that you are holding on to, maybe a, a job or something someone said. It just makes me feel like that there is some emotions that you are holding on to that is preventing you from going forward into your next cycle and your next journey. Now again, we have the Ace of Cups here. So the Ace, the universe wants you to go on to this new journey. It wants you and supports you, but you have some things that you're not releasing. You have some things that you're holding on to. Um, you pro again, I think you need to ma make some clear decisions and probably let uh, let some things go that are no longer serving you. Pay attention to your into your creativity, and uh, I think that that will guide you into your next uh, cycle into what you want to do with your emotions and with this uh, music and this process. Um, before we get into numbers and astrology and stuff, I want to let you know, if you have never met me, I'm Chris, and I use tarot cards to help writers overcome writer's block, create a creative discipline, and finish their projects faster. Uh, I have a writing community on my website called the Flow Your Mojo Writing Community, and for Black Friday in November of 2024, I am giving away a promo code to help you get six months half off of a membership to whatever tier that you want to do. So with it, with that, you will some for as low as less than five dollars a month, you can start learning tarot, start uh, learning to how to finish your projects faster, create a cre create a creative discipline for yourself, and bring some more creativity and fun back to your uh, your writing habits, kind of a thing. If you have any questions, I'm sorry that this was a little off. I've got some gar gar gardeners outside, and it's just kind of throwing me off a little bit, and so it's just it's. 
it's not as clear as I want it to be in this video, but I'm sorry. If you have any questions, please write down in the comment, uh, look down in the comments or uh, look down in the link and that should all be there. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and just let me know that you're interested and I can go through some, uh, answer your questions for you. Numbers you're probably going to want to pay attention to are 715258193310. Now, if you add all those up, you get 51. 5 plus 1 equals 6. 6 in the Major Arcana is the Lover's card. So again, I think that you need to remind yourself that why you are dedicating yourself to this, why you are charging yourself, why you are the driver in your driver's seat with your what you want to do with this project. But I do think that there's going to be some hurt feelings, and I think you need to be okay with that. And that's what I think is holding you back in order to move forward. Elementally-wise, we have Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. You have no Earth. Um, water is your strongest element, fire is your next strongest element. So your emotions are pretty high and your creative, pa creative creativity and your passions are pretty high. But you have no earth. So I feel like what you need to do is ground yourself a little bit before so to help you get a stable foundation to help you move forward into this next cycle that these tarot cards are trying to tell you to do. And I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. So you got three major arcana cards. You got the Chariot, the High Priestess, and the Strength card, and uh, two waters and one fire. Now, because you got no earth on this whole spread, I want to kind of guide you to, to change one of these waters or at least add an earth to get a little bit more grounded in whatever is going to come next for you so that um, you can have it, that strong foundation that I was just talking about. Uh, first of all, with the cards that you got, you have Cancer and the Moon and Leo and the Sun. So that might help you... Uh, understand what's going on uh, astrologically right now. In order to add that earth element into your foundation, please pay attention to Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I don't really know. I'm not, astrology is not my strong suit, um, but if you look those up, they should be able to help you make some connections about what's going on and how you can move forward um, and feeling comfortable with what you want to do with your life. Or I'm sorry, with your creative process. <laughs> Uh, colors you're probably going to want to pay attention to are black and purple. Uh, there is a lot of blue and a lot of red and yellow, but that happens to go with water and your fire signs. So I wanted to go a little bit off to help you uh, not be so focused on water and fire. And so I went black and purple, and that's this, based on these two cards right here. Uh, I do, I, so I'm going to give you a couple of other things here. Um, I am using the music deck, so you're going to probably want to pay attention to Jimi Hendrix um, music. You might want to pay attention to Bjork, uh, Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, and Aretha Franklin. Take a look at some of those songs. They might be able to help you make a playlist of those songs, and they might be able to help you go, go into the next cycle as well. Uh, lastly, we've got three cards that I've got for you. We've got Girl. I don't, it's just Girl. Uh, the next one we have is Great Depths, but it's in reverse. So I think that there's some shallowness going on. Not shallow as in like not enough depth, but I feel like you might be making things a little bit too hard on yourself and maybe keep things more up on the surface so that you don't have to go so deep um, kind of a thing. Does that make sense? I don't know how that's, that's making sense, but... Great Depths is reversed, and that's what I'm getting from that. It's just kind of don't go so deep. Uh, the last card that we have here is what rites or rituals exist in your world? What happens when they succeed or fail? Do they change a person's social status? Yeah, so with that, again, I think that you're on the right track. Keep going. Uh, just release some stuff. Maybe do some journaling, and then when you're done journaling, I would burn that piece of paper. Um, if you can't burn anything, if you're scared of fire, you can tear it up and put it in different trash cans. You can also uh, tear it up and flush it down the toilet, but make sure that you can flush your toilet without clogging it. <laughs> um, again, as a final reminder, I am running a 50% off uh, promotion for my Flow Your Mojo community for six months. So if you are interested in learning how to read tarot cards, use tarot cards as a writing tool and finish your projects faster, uh, please go down to the link in the description box below. And if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those. So much better when the when I can get that out when the, they're not outside, <laughs> the gardeners. Uh, with that, please like, subscribe, follow, and share, and I will see you in the next one.